Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to KS Academy My name is Abdullah And today we are going to start a new series on Microsoft Excel Which will be mainly focusing on the design of concrete These are the outlines of this presentation uh, I will be briefly explaining the standard ACI mix design procedure And then I will be explaining how to automate this design using Microsoft Excel uh, for more details about this topic, I will recommend the recorded lecture of Professor Dr. Han Shazada available on this channel. Uh, these are the 10 steps involved in the ACI mix design procedure. Uh, the first one is required material information or properties. Uh, then choice of slump, then maximum aggregate size selection, then mixing water and air content selection. Then cement content, water cement ratio, coarse aggregate content, fine aggregate content, adjustment for aggregate moisture, and finally trial batches. Uh, moving toward the first step, which is required material information or properties. So these properties will be given to you by the consultant or contractor. So you don't need to worry about this step. Uh, then we have the second step which is the choice of slump uh, so the slump will be uh, also specified to you for a given type of construction uh, but if it is not specified so we can use this table which is table number 5.4 to find out the slump corresponding to the type of construction uh, then we have the third step which is maximum aggregate size selection uh, so these are the two checks for the maximum size of aggregates the first one is 1 over 5 times the minimum dimension of the structural member uh, what does it mean uh, for example if we are designing a column uh, so 1 over 5 times the uh, minimum dimension of the column which is uh, width uh, must be greater than 1.5 inches and 1 over 3 times the thickness of the slab must be greater than 1.3 inches and this is the step number four which is mixing water and air content selection uh, so uh, this will be explained in the coming lectures uh, finally after watching this video series your template will look like this we will be covering these 10 steps in three modules in this module we will be explaining the first three steps and in the second module we will be explaining the second three steps and in the last module we will be explaining the remaining steps now i will open uh, the excel sheet so this is step number one which i will explain in the slide the properties of uh, material so these properties will be given to you uh, maximum size aggregate and these are the uh, properties of fine aggregates and these are the properties of coarse aggregates uh, now we have the step number two uh, in this step we will be uh, choosing the slump uh, based on the type of construction and we will be using this table uh, we will be using minimum value of slump for uh, maximum strength so i will copy this uh, type of construction and then i will be using a vlookup function we look up uh, then uh, i will choose this target value and then i will choose the table target table and then well i will choose the target column which is uh, column number two and exact match finally uh, it will look like this so you can type manually uh, every type of construction uh, but for automation i will use uh, this data validation so I will choose list and I will just select this column which is the type of construction and then ok now uh, you can see uh, when you select the type of construction the slum will uh, automatically ap appear in this uh, cell uh, so I will just copy this into uh, step number two and now you can see uh, when I choose this type of construction so the corresponding uh, value of slump will appear now we have step number three which is the maximum aggregate size uh, so we will apply uh, these two checks 
uh, which I've explained in the slides. So the first check is minimum structural dimension 1 over 5 times the minimum structural dimension which will be given to you. And so I will select this seal and press enter then uh, 1 over 3 times the uh, minimum thickness of slab if it is slab so the slab is in this seal slab dimension okay uh, now to apply the criteria i will be using f function uh, and i will uh, say that if this uh, value in this seal is um, greater than 1.5 uh, return me uh, okay if it is less than 1.5 or equal to 1.5 so, uh, return me not okay so okay not okay press enter uh, then i will just copy and paste this in the uh, next seal so you can see the sizes uh, are okay and uh, now uh, if i change the uh, minimum structure dimension uh, to 6 so this will become not okay uh, which uh, mean the criteria fails so I will again make it 8 so uh, this was uh, step number 3 we will be explaining the remaining 3 steps in the next module uh, see you in next module thank you